All right, guys, here's a quick tutorial on how to use TechStream with the virtual machine um, on Mac OS or a MacBook Pro or whatever you have Mac wise. All right, let's get into this. So I assume you have found this website if you are trying to do this TechStream by yourself or to edit your Toyota vehicle or whatever you're doing. Forum, I hate mud, TechStream in five minutes, type it in on Google and you'll get to this page. Um, then you have to download your virtual machine for whatever Mac OS you have, the silicone chips, uh, M1, M2 silicone chips, or the Mac OS normal. So you get that, and that will be a program called UTM. Go to your desktop, open it, and then s download the disk image for TechStream, which many of you have probably already gotten to this point, but I'm going to include it regardless. Um, so you download this disk image, it goes to your desktop, bang, it's a zip file. You unzip that file. It creates a parameter file for your UTM virtual machine. Then you open up UTM. I've already done this, but I reset it. You double click that file. It opens up this and provides everything you need. Then you just press play. This part I will probably speed up because it takes a few minutes to load up your virtual machine. So we'll load it up. Okay. That took forever for some reason, but every other every other time after the initial that you load it up, it goes quickly. All right. So you have your mini VCI cable. At this point, you can take your laptop into your car and you can connect it to the mini VCI port and then the USB port on your laptop. Mac OS, you'd recognize it immediately. You press allow. I don't have the cable on me, but you just press allow USB device and bam, it's recognized. So you can click the MVCI firmware update tool. Once you have this opened, you can click device info and then it will populate version, uh, model, device, firmware, blah, blah, blah. I don't have mine plugged in, so it does not populate it, but yours will. So bang. So then you know the cable is recognized. All right. Here's where I ran into a problem. I was like, okay, my cable's recognized. Perfect. So then I'm like, all right, let's open up TechStream. Let's get these keys done. Come on. Come on now. Little did I know some bullshit came up. So double click TechStream. I'll just to sh click it to show you. It will come up with initializing USB connection. And there's no menu to click or anything to change any settings. And then it will eventually say um, unable to connect to VIM or something like that. Connection failed and something like that. First time I did it, I was like, fuck, man. Okay, unable to connect to VIM. Maybe a lot of you have seen this and you're like, oh my God, I hate this. All right, so you close out of that. You go to start. You go to my computer. <clears throat> Local disk. Um, scroll down to program files, scroll down to Toyota diagnostics, scroll down to tech stream, um, open up bin, scroll down to until you find a main menu and it'll have a different logo. It's in alphabetical order. Just keep scrolling down. You'll get to the M's. Everything's Git because there's so many G's. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh, scroll, okay, main menu has the TechStream logo, a different logo. Click main menu. Double click main menu. Open it. Okay, so it comes up with the area selection, North America, bang, English, bang. All right, for all of this, just type in random shit. Every box, random shit, press OK. Now it will finally bring up the program 
regardless of whether you could connect to VCI or not, it'll bring up the program to where you can access the menus. This takes a second because it's just it's just dog shit. Um, all right, the key registration pops up too. Just cancel, just ignore that, and go up to the top on the toolbar to set up VIM select. Now at the top here, TIS TechStream VIM. You change that to the MVCI cable X horse. Change it to this, and press OK. And then close out of TechStream because it did not open. When you open the main menu, it doesn't open the pre-licensed version um, from the forum. So close out. Close out of this, and then you reopen TechStream from the desktop. Just reopen it, and it will connect to your vehicle once that cable change is made. And I mean, if you want to dump, double check, just unplug the USB from the computer, plug it back in after you do this, and then open it up from the desktop. Um, and then it'll work. You won't get the VIM unable to connect error. So it took me a few hours to figure this out. I hope it helps. Even if it helps one person, man, save a couple hours, then that's, that's good for me. So you should be able to get into TechStream after this, connect to your car, and do what you need to do. Most people reprogram keys, um, et cetera, et cetera, whatever you need to do. So appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.